Hi, I'm Senator Ben Cardin of Maryland, the chair of the United States Senate Foreign Relations Committee. It's an honor to have the chance to address this year's Kolonowski Conference. My grandparents came to the United States in 1902 from Lithuania when the Russian Empire threatened much of Eastern Europe. So the struggle against Soviet and Russian authoritarianism has always been profoundly important to me. This year's conference comes at a critical time for Russia's neighbors, and that is especially true for Belarus. The man who calls himself the president of Belarus has invited Russia to position nuclear weapons in Belarus. After his visit to Moscow last month, Belarusians' economic sovereignty and energy security took a major hit, and he allowed Putin to use Belarusian territory to launch a full-scale invasion of neighboring Ukraine. The leader of Belarus's democratic forces, who testified at the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, has said that the future of Belarus and Ukraine are deeply interwined. I think she's right. And I am proud the Senate passed an additional $60 billion to help Ukraine fight back against Putin's brutal invasion. We must continue to support Ukraine, but we must also support the people of Belarus. That is why I am calling for the renewed appointment of a special envoy for Belarus as required by the U.S. National Defense Authorization Act we passed last year. An envoy based in Vilnius that will advocate for human rights and political freedoms in Belarus. Working to push back against the regime's attempt to erase Belarusian cultural identity. Speaking out against the KGB's crackdown on freedom of assembly. Supporting Belarusian citizens abroad who the regime is trying to force to return home to renew their passports. And fighting for the release of the nearly 1,500 political prisoners including Radio Free Europe journalists in the regime's jail cells. For as long as Russia has threatened the sovereignty and security of its neighbors, there have been brave, courageous people fighting back. People like you who have gathered at this conference today. Because of your commitment to freedom, your dedication to democracy and human rights, I know that Belarusians and all people living in the shadow of Putin's ag aggression will one day be free. So I hope you have a successful conference. Thank you for what you're doing.